and check their amplification guys. I am Sergio and this is Patrick. Today we're going to give you guys the rig rundown on this piece here, the Schecter Hellraiser 100 head and the amplifier cabinet, the Hellraiser depth charge. Okay, so first and foremost, this is a 100 watt all tube design. This piece has four EL34s in the power section, but it's also bias switchable to 6L6 if you're more of a fan of those types of tubes. And uh, the preamp section has four 12AX7s. And uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a little bit of trivia to give out some passes. I know you guys are all asking about those passes. You'll get them soon enough. And then we also have a demo station where you can try out this amplifier. So let's move forward and get down to this amplifier. We have two channels, a lead channel and a clean channel. So let's check out the clean channel on the American setting. Now the clean channel on this amplifier, uh, actually the American clean channel on this amplifier, indicated by the green LED here, is more of a American tweed type of sound. So if you like warm tones, you can get that with this amplifier by using this switch here. And it actually has two modes. So if we move to the UK mode, see this good switch here, you can get a bridge sound with a slightly pushed mid range. mode and then you have the USA clean mode but it doesn't stop there this clean channel can actually be used as an overdrive channel as well if you just bump up the gain we don't have any gain on this amplifier uh, on this channel running right now so if we turn it up to about half you can see you can get some pretty good tones with four amplifiers over there if you want to check this stuff out. So you can see the clean channel is pretty versatile. We have not even stepped into the lead yet on this amplifier. Let's do that right now and show you how much gain this thing can really crank. So the lead channel is modeled after, or should I say voiced after, a, you know, your popular West Coast high gain amplifiers. But you can still get some really good moderate rock tones, very light distortion, or anywhere in between that to death metal, heavy metal. Let's see what it sounds like. It's set to about 30%. Let's start cranking this piece and see what it sounds like at about 12 o'clock. Now let's match out this game and see what this thing can really do. Let it rip back. If you guys want passes, I'm only going to give out a pair right now if you can answer this question. Very simple. I want to see a hand. 
Who helped voice this amp with us? James Brown. Who? James Brown. All right, he's got it. And one more. Do you guys know when Schecter Guitar Research was founded? When did it start? Man, this guy's quick. <laughs> All right, one more. Do you guys know where Schecter Guitar Research was actually founded? Which city? Anybody? Nobody know, knows that one? I mean, I know that one, so I'm going to keep these. Nope, wrong. It's moved since. Nope. It's moved. That's the new spot. Where did it start? Nobody knows? I think I'm just going to throw these out. All right, let's get back to the demo. <laughs> demo station over there. We're going to give out more passes after this demo. Don't bother me about it because I don't have any more left but these two here. Anyway, so moving forward, uh, let's look at the global controls on this amplifier. So if you look at this panel here, we have three global controls. The master volume, which controls the overall level of both channels. The presence, and then the boost switch here, or the boost knob. And the boost knob is pretty cool. It actually adds about 10 dB if you max out uh, that knob. So you can eliminate any use of stop boxes or level boosters and, uh, from your pedal chain. So let's hear how loud this thing can really get in between the on and off setting. got a real easy one for you and if you work for the company you're not getting this who is the man who is the CEO of Shecker Guitars how can you guys not know this he's making all of this happen David no David Shecker actually doesn't own the company anymore but nice try <laughs> sorry he is the owner but he is not the president of the company <laughs> it's getting warmer anybody you guys should bother him right now. Yeah, you, you know, yeah. If somebody, everybody has smartphones. Everybody's being dumb about it. Like, come on. Come on. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so let's move forward on this amplifier. We have another global control here. We have the focus control knob. Now, this amplifier has four different focus uh, controls here. We have a normal mode, self-explanatory, or the tight mode, which is really good for aggressive staccato playing. If you're a metal guy, if you like doing machine gun riffs, this thing can really tighten up the sound just by activating the switch here. seven string guitar and this amplifier actually has voicings for the seven and the eight string guitar what this switch will actually do is uh, make changes within the preamp section to accommodate lower tones so it will open up the bass frequencies and allow more focus but not muddy up the tone so this is what the seven string mode sounds like when it is activated guitar we can actually hear that if we activate the H stream mode we will get enhanced bass response and focus. Let's hear what that sounds like. Very 
Pretty heavy stuff. Pretty heavy stuff. Another cool control that is global, well, actually not global, but exclusive to the lead channel is the noise gate. Right now we have this noise gate activated to about, I would say about 75%. Now, if you guys are familiar with a lot of these high gain amps, you're familiar with the noise, the stream fade, the hiss, the pops, all that sort of thing. Well, if we max this amp out, you can definitely hear that annoying up not even halfway if we turn it up to about 25 percent you can hear that the sound of this game which is a pretty good cool smart game will actually start beating up that noise that's only at about halfway now still a little bit of noise if we max this guy out you can hear that the noise is completely gone on the amplifier but still allows for a nice DK for palm muted chords or for single note lines. Let's hear what that sounds like. It's a very, very smart gate on this amplifier. It definitely knows where to cut off and where to pick up without squashing your tone. The last feature on this front panel is the dual input. So unlike no, most amplifiers that only have a single normal input, which actually cuts dB levels to accommodate for different styles of pickups, whether it's passive or active, you actually do not have to compromise with that. If you use passive pickups, you can obviously use the normal setting. Or if you use active pickups, you don't have to have that dB cut. You can use the active setting. And there's actually circuit changes within the amplifier that will allow for a more dynamic range of your uh, if you are a player of active pickups, you'll notice that there's a slightly compressed sound, you have less dynamics. Although it's crisp, you get less lows and less highs. This thing actually accommodates for that sort of thing and will open up your pickups. So, there's one more really cool feature that we have to show you guys on this whole rig. It is the amplifier cabinet that we have here, the Hellraiser Depth Charge. You know who the owner is? I said, who is the uh, president? No, no, not, I said, who's the president and CEO of the company? It's not easy, Doc. Michael Cyril. Oh, that guy got it. Wait, he cheated, he looked at his phone. Actually, I suggest that people use their smart phones. <laughs> so that's All right, guys, so uh, we have an amplifier station over there with four different amplifiers that you guys can check out. But after this demo is complete, which we're about ready to wrap it up, uh, we're going to have to ask everybody to leave and get in line for the artist demos or the artist signings. But let's take one more listen to this cabinet. What this cabinet has is actually three Celestian speakers on the inside and then one 12-inch subwoofer with a baffle design and a 200-watt power amp. We've been using this depth charge for all of our demos. It adds a lot of bass and dimension. So right now what I'm going to do is turn off... I'm going to turn off the subwoofer and you can hear what this amplifier sounds like. Um, Tone, but we want more umph, so let's just crank this thing all the way. You can hear the dimension just pop out of this thing. The body is great. Let's, let's do it. sounds thin or anything of that sort. This thing is a very cool 
it has a very cool design. They will add more body character to your amplifier. So you guys should check one of these out. You can go online and, and check them out on shepherdguitars.com. And uh, like I said, we have a demo station over there. So after the signings are done, you guys can go ahead and try all this stuff out. It's pretty cool. My name is Sergio, and this is Patrick. He plays with Heaven Below. They're playing tonight with Queensryche at the House of Blues Anaheim. Is that what you're playing? So check out his shredability tonight, guys. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the amp demo, and enjoy your stay here at NAMM 2014.